Okay, we're going to talk about Song Director. Song Director is a free, easy to use music organizer, music player, database software. And you can download this for free from songdirector.com. And it's a free download. It's a pretty powerful program. You can use it in place of iTunes or Windows Media Player or as a complement to those two programs. And it basically creates a database of all your music. It automatically scans your computer looking for music and audio files and builds a searchable database of all your music. Once this database is built, you can quickly and easily play songs, build playlists, sort by artist, song title, genre, year, and easily view all your music. So well, why don't we see what this program is all about. Now, when you first inst <coughs> bring up uh, Song Director, you see the main grid. This is called a grid screen. Now, if we go to the file, you can add music. You can add one music, add a folder of music, or add all your, or scan your entire drive. I already did that. And this is the main grid screen, and I can do a count of my music. So when we count this out, I have 187,156 songs that are in this database. That's quite a few. You know, it's about um, 1.6 terabytes of music. And if you look over here, you have a locate area and a sort by. Now you can sort on 23 different fields here. Right now I'm sorting on artist. Let's sort on song. And if you see it, it doesn't look like it's sorting properly in, in my case here. And the reason why is if you click on here, you'll notice there's a space and then there's a hyphen. If you go over here, you'll notice there's a space. So however this tag was put in, it wasn't put in uh, properly here. So it kind of, it uh, sorts on um, spaces first if it's empty. And if you go down, you got quotation marks in this one. And then you have numbers, let's see, and parentheses, dot, more numbers. So it kind of depends on how your songs are in there with the tags. Now we get down to the actual letters. So if you click on this, now you'll notice there's no spaces in there, there's nothing in front of it, and the song starts with A, a, a man I hardly know. So that's going to be sorted in correct order here. Same goes for artists. In my case, with all these songs I have, there's some that are a little out of whack. Uh, this one, basically, the artist is just a, wasn't put in. And there's a space in here. And you can move this over, hit save, and correct that if yours is a little out of whack. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use this. This is the main grid screen, like I said. Well, I'm going to type in uh, artist. I'm going to type in Bob Dylan. And here is Bob right here. Now I can also click down here on this button. I can show all the songs by Bob Dylan. And I can do a count on here. I got 400, 746 songs by Bob. Well, here you notice I have quite a few duplicates because they're from different albums. And I might have got some from um, different places and get them from some of the same album. Now, if I play all... There's also an option to skip the duplicates, shuffle play, and to loop it. So 
if you do have duplicates you can hit this um, button or check this box and it will skip over the duplicates and this is basically the play screen um, you can add the songs into your playlist from here I have a list here right I could add this on if I wanted and I just added that one um, so this is actually a music player you have quite a few options here these are your play buttons your volume buttons you can right click and then you can play this at different speeds fast normal slow if you're trying to learn a song it's kind of nice to play it in a slow motion if you want and you got your play your plugins volume mute zoom options help about so you got quite a bit of things on here you can get out of this one for now song director is compatible with all version of windows um, it will only run on a windows based computer or a windows based tablet with a full version of windows such as windows 10 8 7 xp vista so it is a windows based uh, program This can be used as a uh, complement or as a replacement for um, iTunes or Windows Media Player. You can use it in place of or as a um, complement to those programs. As I said, you can search on tr about 23 different fields here. Album, artist, bitrate, path name. So why don't we come up with one of these songs here? Um, so you can locate the locate button to search for an artist. I can you can also use a find button, and this is a more advanced type of um, search. You can use these wild cards in here, um, so I can search for Bob, you know Bob Dylan this way as well. That's using the search now this basically comes up with anything that has Bob Dylan in it so it comes up with the artist performer but if you go down a bit here's the band and it has Bob Dylan's in the part of the song title um, maybe let me follow you down with Bob Dylan you go to here's the Tracy Chapman times are changing but if you see it's from the album Bob Dylan so it's more of an advanced search basically anywhere there's Bob and you can put some wild cards in here now you can also use a filter which is a even a more powerful search and basically search on just about anything to find your songs on this it uses SQL language but it's pretty easy um, for example you just type this song name like love and artists like Bob if you want to know all the songs with, the, with the love in the in the title and artists um, with the name Bob you can search that way I saved this particular search so I can type it in right here and Let's see what we find when we do this okay well this is what we get it's like Bob Dylan did a bunch here's Bob Marley Bobby Darren Darren did a whole lot of love songs okay look. there we go so if we pop over here you can see that we have um, Is the edit view record and it gives the information about the song that are in the tags you have the song name the artist the album genre bit rate duration track file size the path name where it's located on the hard drive 
the uh, file name and you can edit the tag right here so this will pop over here I'll bring you right to where this is at and you can add the tag on here as well um, let's do that again yeah so if we can pop out of here can rename it you can give it a rating here this is your personal information you can put in here you can put you know Bob song I like this one you know put whatever you want on here <laughs> and um, you can also customize this however you want when you really want to customize these songs like I said you do have a notes section here you can put pictures of this album in here um, you can also look up this song on the web so why don't we try that out look up on the web okay uh, looks like here's a video of him playing this live here's the Wikipedia information about this song by Bob so let's um, pop over here now go back you can also right click on this and you can find a song lyrics album art or cover versions of this song so why don't we try that out here's a, some lyrics okay well here's the lyrics right here you can sing along it you can also copy this if you want pop over here and you can add this in here if you want into the uh, notes section so now we got the, the whole lyrics in there you can look up album art okay it looks like this is from the bring it all back home album you can view the image copy the image pop back over here and just add this into picture two I'm gonna hit save and that's how we get that image in there uh, cover versions of this song all right here's a Bob Dylan cover another cover another cover okay it's like a bunch of people covered that and so you can do quite a bit of stuff on customization basically on these songs that you have you can add notes this is a miscellaneous feel which means you can pop in whatever you want and type whatever you want basically in here and um, basically just customize it how you want you can also add a song to a playlist that's why we try that out you can hit here this is uh you have several plays i'm just going to choose my playlist right there and uh song added to playlist you can also add a song to a category and you can categorize this song add a new category okay uh I like I Bob Dylan now this is a um, shortcut here you can hit the alt O and it gives a keyboard shortcut right there okay so I'm going to assign this one so this is the category assigned to the song songs I like by Bob Dylan that's my category So I'm going to hit exit now and save. So if I go to category, here's my category. Songs I like by Bob Dylan. This guy is in here. This is a song in that category. And you can put all different categories in here. Have, categorize this however you like.
And you can also show all songs by Bob, which is what I just did here. I'll just pop over to the playlist. This is my playlist that I, I created. I got a couple of songs in here, not a whole lot, but there's uh, you can play all the songs in this list if you want. And as I mentioned, you've seen this screen before, playlist screen. There's quite a bit, bit of things you can do on this. You have quite a few options here. You can also go over to the help. You bring over to the help, it brings you up to the actual um, website that has the help menu. And anything you want to know is basically in here about adding songs, pictures, categories, copying a song to another location, fault settings, editing the file tags, filtering records, find button to grid. Locate button, playlists, you adding a record. So this is a great resource right here is the uh, help menu. Going to go pop back over here. And there's several different ways to play songs. You can go over to the playlist, play all the songs in your list. You can, um, right here, this is the artist filter. This is the count. And you can start playing all the songs by, by Bob here. So there's quite a bit of things you can do with this. And stay tuned for another video. And we'll go over some more information about Songs Director and what you can do with it. Again, if you go to songsdirector.com, this is a free download of this program.